I want to thank Steve Kuby for providing the source audio for this fix. He's a storyteller of high quality, and I will provide links in the description below this video when he has them available for me. This is a quick video on some basic things you can do to help shape up your audio on a budget. We are using the free GarageBand and Audacity for this to show some very simple applications for improvement. One of the first things you have to do is check up here and make sure that your plugins and effects windows are set up. Instead of noise reduction, which is limited in GarageBand unless you purchase specific plugins, we're going to layer several EQ adjustments through a process called scanning that will reduce harsh frequencies. This is where you'll be adding the built-in plugins or others that you purchase. I'll turn this off so it's empty. You can apply a lot of plugins here. I'm going to select a compressor first before I add the EQ. Compressors essentially reduce spikes in the waveform and can make things sound more present or without as much dynamic loudness and softness or quietness. Some compressors can color the sound or give it a particular quality. We're just going to set uh, select dynamics compressor and then in the compressor settings we can play with a specific coloration or any effect that you find is pleasing. We're going to set this to narration vocal. We were in the kitchen. Get up and said, don't you dare go near that. That sounds fine as a base and a place to start. We're going to turn this off and then select a channel EQ. We're going to leave this alone as that is for the overall gain. Each of these points can be raised or lowered so that we can amplify or decrease specific frequencies. To narrow the search for our scanning, we want to change what is called the Q, which is down here. This allows us to widen or narrow the field of search. We wish to narrow it. We are going to then grab the peak and scan across the frequencies as we listen to the track for harshness. She said that with a good deal of attention, with gravity. She was serious. And she said it directly to me, not to Kit, to me. Her tone and intention suggested I was prone to be the egregious child. She was really in my face about it. When we hear something particularly harsh, we pull the peak down to suppress it. We then do the same thing across the other frequency. The front yard for maybe a couple of minutes before we made a beeline for the creek. It's as if the don't you dare part of mom's orders got chopped off and all I heard was the command. Go near the creek. We were outside 10 full minutes before Kit slipped into the creek, got his foot wet and cold and had to go back inside. Oh well. Essentially, you keep doing this, adding more channel EQs as needed. You can stack here as many as you need. At one point, I added an exciter, which gives a little richness and an airy quality. Sometimes when your track starts sounding muddy, an exciter can help with that, but you have to be careful so as not to introduce too much high end where hissing and clicks can be amplified. Kit was going to turn four soon. The kitchen. Kit was bundled up to go out and play, and Mom zipped my jacket up and said, Don't you dare go near that creek. She said that with a good deal of attention. That essentially is the place to start. These basic methods will help reduce the background noise and give greater quality to the audio. I didn't keep the noise gate on this because the basic plugin in GarageBand doesn't allow for enough adjustments to smooth out its introduction or its tail. For noise reduction, we just bring it into the free program called Audacity. In Audacity, what you do is you select where you think the noise would be. We want a blank area that doesn't have any of your vocal on it. That sounds good. That also could work. So if I select that and we go to Effect and we go to Noise Reduction, we get Noise Profile. Noise profile will be what you selected. Get noise profile. Just so you can hear it, I'm going to select this part and leave this part alone. And we will go to noise reduction again. And this time, what I do with frequency smoothing, I brought it up to six bands instead of three, which is the standard. You can preview it if you wish, but I've already tested this. 
Noise reduction is how much it drops down and that sort of thing. It may introduce artifacts if you go too far. It's better to do multiple smaller reductions rather than one giant reduction. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and click OK. And it's reduced it to some degree. You can hear or see it already in the waveform. Now we're going to listen to it so you can actually hear the difference between the one that has been reduced and that which is not. That mom. My mom said, don't you dare, a lot to me when I was little. But there's... So you can definitely hear the difference between this, which has almost no sound. That mom. My mom said... To where it starts picking up. And you can hear the difference between where it was taken out to where it's not. My mom said, don't you dare, a lot. There is an overall hiss to it. Whereas that is not present here. That mom. And the only thing that we would do it is you could do the noise reduction first before you start applying AQ, which is something I would probably do first. That way you can adjust the frequencies and so forth afterwards, after you get it down to where it's quiet enough. I hope you enjoyed that, found it interesting. If you have any other questions on this, please send it in the comments below. And thank you for listening. Please subscribe and thumbs up if you haven't. Thank you.